okay so we are in hi everybody welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking. so in today's video as you guys can see we have a guest with us and he's called joshua prince a amu or amu right exactly. and he's from ghana and he's a Ghanaian student studying in germany i want him to share some experience with us you know as i said earlier on i'm starting this new series that i would like to um, invite other students in Germany or also workers who are living in Germany to share some experience with us. So let's get right into today's video. So hi Joshua, can you please um yeah welcome to my channel. Sorry I didn't even thank you welcome for having to me. my channel. So can you please give us a short introduction about yourself? <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. And then uh, my name is Joshua Prince Samuel like you rightly said. Um I'm from Ghana. Um I stayed in Cape Coast and then in Accra. But majority of my life was in Cape Coast, where I had my formal education to my DHS. And I went to um, Western Region to school in St. John's School. And then I came back to UCC again to finish my bachelor's. And then mm -hmm. life took off. So in 2018, I, thereabout, I moved to Accra to, to work in uh, FBN Bank. And then so from FBN Bank, I came to Germany. Oh, nice. Okay. So your, what what did you have for your bachelor's program? Oh, I read um, B in social science, and then I I majored in economics and then minored in sociology. Mm, that's nice. In the humanities. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right. So now you're in Germany. Now you're in Germany. <laughs> yes. Yes, so I'm in Germany now. Precisely Coburg. Where? Coburg. In, Co in the Bavaria state, yeah. Oh, in the southern part of Germany. Yes. Oh, nice. So, which school exactly are you in? I currently I am studying the University of the actually Coburg or the Coburg University of Applied Sciences and Art. So okay. it's a, either actually Coburg or the um, Coburg University of Applied Sciences and Art. Oh, okay. And which program yes. are you? I'm reading an MBA in financial management. MBA in financial management. Yes. Hmm, that's really interesting. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I envy you, you rather. So why Germany? Why did you choose Germany? We have US, UK, Canada. Why Germany? That is a good question. Let me start by saying this. <clears throat> I, in 2013, I had to bid farewell to my brother to come to Germany to study in Bremen. Okay. So my interest a bit was growing in Germany. But on the downside, the language was really something that I would, I didn't want to bother myself with it. So my preference was um, either an English-speaking country. So I fancied um, the UK, uh, which I, I tried severally. I had the admission, but you know, UK, the, uh, the tuition is very, very on the high. Mm -hmm. So from 2015 to 2017, I was applying to Germany, and then the UK, but I think I wasn't doing something right. Because you know, in Germany they prefer um notarization. And then I wasn't getting I wasn't doing that notarization properly. Instead of going to the maybe the law court and then others there, I was doing it with the school. So they I wasn't getting admission. So I gave up on Germany. I didn't really like it. My, my brother kept insisting. He kept pushing me. He was like, bro, there is opportunity here. When you come here, you can make it. And then my interest in Germany grew again. So this time around, I said, no, I'm going to go all out. So I came to, to realize that it depends on me to, to make the difference, like you said. And then um, I also saw the opportunity that Germany will offer me done in the UK because of certain things that I took into consideration. One, I have a family here. My brother is here that in case of anything, he can support me languagely or maybe financially. So I was like, okay, fine, then let me make it here. So um, coming here, I would say, mm, like the Germans would say, it was a so la la for me. <laughs> but yeah. I, I decided to, to really come. Yeah. All right. So that's why that's why you chose Jamie. Yeah, I, basically because of my brother, he gave me that um, recommendation. Okay. 
So with your application process, was it difficult? Was it easy? <coughs> How was your application process like? Did you apply through uni assist or you applied directly to the university? Um, well, some, some, some students here applied through uni assist, but I didn't. Okay. Because um, I, ha I am from an English speaking country. And then I don't know whether because my my notarization came from the from the state because I did the notarization with the foreign affairs, okay. so I sent all documents. Frankly speaking, uh, Kobok wasn't even part of my class. Oh, I see. So it came it came at eleventh hour because I was prepared to go to Hochschule Bremen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it was an MBA International Tourism Management program, but I was in a conversation with my brother he didn't really like the idea so he was like we should try something else and then i was there and then they called me so their application was straightforward mm -hmm. it was on the dad website uh -oh. i just did the application and then sorry to cut you so if it wasn't the dad website how did you know of Coburg university i didn't really know Coburg university it was through dad Okay, okay. Because, because like you said, the application is also a work on its own. Yeah. Sometimes I need to sleep around four, wake up at six, four, eight, uh, um, sleep around 4 a.m., wake up around 6 a.m. just to come go to work because, you know, in Ghana, data is very expensive. So for you to work with a lot of data, you need to subscribe to the Midnight Bundle. Yeah. So um, if I wouldn't lie to you, I it was through um, DAD that I got to know a lot of schools, Schmackhalden and Hout, because um, I was really bent on really being closer to my brother. But mm -hmm. Coburg was just a passerby and then I just attempted. Okay, so, and then um, also how many schools did you apply to? Um, if I wouldn't lie, in Germany or in my summation of schools I applied? No, in Germany. In, Ge in Germany, it was more than 10. It was more, more than, than 10. <laughs> more than 10 you? schools. <laughs> I had three. <laughs> I had three if I wouldn't lie. I'm not lying about it because I had Oxley Bremen. I had mm. Coburg. And then I think... Um, uh, I've forgotten this one. I've forgotten the third one. No problem. <laughs> Unfortunate, because they were all not courses related to um, my work because I was working with the bank. So I wanted something that would be in relation to my, yeah. Okay. All right. So um, with your school, you have free tuition school or you pay tuition? My school, I am paying. It's self-funding. So uh, pay yes, I'm paying tuition. Per semester, right? Per semester, yes. And how and much? Semester. I'm paying three thousand euros per semester. Wow. Yeah. Three thousand euros per semester. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's quite a lot, too. <laughs> yes. It's and a lot, but. Do you pay semester fee? Yes, it's like a hundred euro. Hundred euros. Wow. Yeah. So let's say in a year you're paying around six thousand. No, um, I'm paying around three thousand fifty-six or sixty. Because the fees itself is like two thousand nine hundred and something, so okay. inclusive of the semester fee is around three thousand and fifty six or so. So, let's say your first semester you pay three thousand, second semester you pay another. The same thing, no increment, no inflation. So yeah, look at your expenditure as a student who is not in a non free tuition school; it's quite high. So let's look at your accommodation. How much do you pay a month? Two one five point. 50 cent 215.50 cent yeah and then your feeding how much you spend a month yeah like a 50 euro 50 years okay so i guess living expenses in your city is not so high because i cook i cook myself okay. and um, i hardly eat outside <clears throat> sorry because i'm not used to this kind of food and then, um, so like in a month, if I just target myself, the maximum maybe I go is a 60 euro. Okay, okay. And what about your health insurance? Which one are you using, the government or the private? I'm using uh, our car. 
So oh, government, um, yeah. So they pay they pay for my for my little salary. Yeah. They take it from yes. your accounts. How much? Yes. Um actually it doesn't it doesn't they don't take it from my for my account mm -hmm. because of I don't know the regulations they have with the with the work area. Okay. So before my salary comes, it's that it has already been deducted. Okay. Talking about salary, they are working in Germany. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. okay. That's nice. So is that how you're able to fund your teaching fees? Um yeah. Um working here, I think is much flexible than mm -hmm. in Ghana. Okay. Because yeah um if i time myself so well i'm able to make up my time because um, i'm supposed to work eight hours um four hours a day so in the morning if i can wake up early and i go to work i spend two hours in the morning come back refreshing up and then i go to class and then in the evening i just go and do two hours Wow. Right. Oh, okay yes. so if you don't mind would you like would you share like what kind of job you do as a student no. Car here because it's a it's a small city, mm. so like the likes of Amazon and then those kind of works are not here. But rather, we have a, a logistics company here by name DPD. DPD, okay. Yes. So that is where majority of the students go there just to do their uh, day, day by day job, yeah. just to get something in their pockets. Yeah. And then there are there are other cleaning works around. Hmm. But because um um they also need people that speak German. Do they clean it? Yes. <clears throat> because they will tell you that you ought to speak to your supervisor. So yeah. but I I I'm, I'm not I'm not into that. I'm I'm with the logistics. Yeah. So that place is flexible. As in when you can go, you go. Yeah. Even um during this exam period, I didn't go. And then uh, because I wasn't on schedule, mm. so you are not mandated to be at post at this time or this time or not. And uh, we also have McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah. Yeah. We have Burger King. Okay. So what you like, you can go in for. I think I, I went to McDonald's just for a couple of days and then I didn't go again. Didn't like because it. it was... It was coinciding with exams, so yeah, I needed to. I like cooking, so there was one thing I wanted to learn from them. That is the their their chicken nuggets. I wanted to learn how to fry it, and I can do it on my own. But so maybe now that we are on vacation, maybe we'll try and see. Mm, okay, so currently we'll working. That's DPD. How much are yeah. you paying you per? Um, it's a little. A, a little shy of 10 euro okay that's mm -hmm. fine yeah yeah i remember i remember in one one of your videos in your printing shop yeah. your printing factory yes yes i so i think they will be on the same wavelength with them i stopped working there a long time ago yes i, I remember because it was a long a long time video i watched in ghana yeah the thing is, when you come in the beginning, you settle for anything. But as time goes on, and you know that sister, you know a bit of the language, then you get better offers. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's how that it is. I'll never, right now, I'll never do a job that will pay me 10 euros per hour, nine point. No. It should be about, it should be maybe from 10 and above. Anyways, I have another question. Someone what? might ask, if I come to Germany, and let's say I don't come to a free teaching school like you are, yeah. and Pay tuition fee for three thousand euros per semester. Will I be able to do it? Is it? Do you think it's possible? So somebody, you know, everybody. People have financial problems and they want to fund themselves. So, can you use your part-time jobs to pay your tuition fees? Hmm. Is it possible? Okay. Let me <laughs> let me be factual. <clears throat> I don't I don't want to beat about the bush. It depends on you. Mm -hmm. You, if you are lazy, kill it. But if you are not lazy, then you can do it. It's doable. Mm -hmm. In that, if you have, let's say, um, six, um, six or five months in a semester, mm -hmm. and then you work extra hard, maybe you are able to save five hundred euros, then you can match that foot. But maybe if you've been here and already family are calling on you in Ghana, then I'm sorry. You can't. 
Yes. And to be hard. Because you should you should bear in mind that maybe the block account that you are having, maybe it's not your assuming it's not your money. Yeah. Okay. And you are supposed to pay back. Every month they pay you. How are you going to do it? So unless you work. But if the block account is your own money, then you can sleep. Yeah. So if you are not lazy, you can even work extra harder and then even top up, get some more money, and then your own lifestyle to predict for you. Yeah. And the friends that you also make. But on the downside, you can do it. <laughs> some people are doing it. Yeah. If you come to my school, there are a lot of Indians, Bangladesh, a lot of people here like that. They could have also chosen to maybe go to a free tuition school. But you should know that India is different from Ghana because over there, the government assists them with loan, student loans, and then they can come here with it. Yes, but in my country, if somebody tells you that he will help you with your block account, bro or sister, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. And then when you come there, just don't be lazy. Work. You know Work. How to... Right. <laughs> it, it, it wouldn't kill you. So, all right, anyways. So you've been in Germany so far. You don't have heard a lot about Germany. Have you ever faced any kind of racism? No. Okay. Any no. kind of friendliness? No. So do you have any German friends? Yeah, I have German friends. Mm, that's nice. That's my nice. first friend I made in Germany was a lady. Um, that was my first time in Germany. Okay. You know, I was Johnny just come, so I was just seated in the in the, in the train, mm -hmm. and then there was an announcement ongoing that the train had developed a fault, and I didn't understand. So she came to me, and she was like, "And should you go?" That was the first time I heard that word, <laughs> and then she said something, and I. The, the little I, I could tell her was, um, it's fresh and I'm based in Deutsch. <laughs> so she was like, oh, I saw. And then it was, she was like, fine, um, the train has developed a fault, so we need to get down and then we wait for a bus. She she She's called Anna. She will be in about 50s. Oh, okay. And then she stayed with me. Mm. She gave me her phone to contact my brother. She stayed with me. Mm. Um, she even moved from with me from one town to the other. And fortunately for me, the time that the town that she stays is the town that from there it gets to my destination. So just like let's say Kaswa to let's say Brumbram, yeah. for example. Wow. Yeah. So she took me there and then she was like, Joshua here, a train will come, don't pick it, another one will come, and then you pick that one. Mm -hmm. That was my first friend I made in Germany, and I we are in contact contact yes she stays in Bamberg she even offered me to come over I think last week and I told her I was writing exams and then um few friends I've made on campus but in my class there are no German but in my workplace yes my workplace my boss is a is a German and he likes me so much he He's always speaking German with me because he says he wants me to learn the, the language. language so just a few friends. And then I, I, when I was also going to do my annual dong, a young lady from the school also directed me to the place and she also became my friend. Mm -hmm. So anytime they are all passing by, they just hop in just to say hi to me. So, But the guys, not really. That's not nice. Really. Good for yeah. you. <laughs> Let's, let's um go back back to your application process. Yeah. How was this interview like? Can you share some of the interview questions? How was it like? <laughs> so that was I must tell you my interview. I think even your experience that you shared on YouTube, mine was even shorter than your own. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what five minutes? <laughs> yeah, because I was I was kind of like um surprise and i was like why i didn't impress or what so i got to the to the embassy and then i was told that we need to make some photocopies and yeah. that time and then you know the Ghanaians there they are very rude yeah. so i didn't pay particular attention to them because they made me spend like 
60 Ghana on photocopies and I came and they, they rejected all of them. Wow. So we went inside and then we were having this conversation amongst us, those that were seated, we seated there. There was okay. one guy, I remember him very well. He's a doctor, so he's, he's coming here on a job-seeking visa. And then there were four, there were two other guys here mm-hmm. after me and then one two in front of me. So when we got there, there was this lady that was after me. She was very tense because the room that we were going, I don't know if you if you still remember the German name, but you know we have the the first room, the yeah. second room, third and yeah. the fourth. So the first room here, that was where we were supposed to go for the interview, and the lady there was really stubborn because when you go, you can spend like twenty five minutes, and I was like, what is she asking? <laughs> so. The girl here was very, very tense and nervous. And she was like, she's scared. And I was like, why? You don't have to be scared. So when it got to my turn, I told her to go so that she would be calm. Mm. So she entered. And then she came back to tell me that the lady says that the next person should go to the second. The girl one. <laughs> the second cubicle. And I was like, wow. That woman asking. was interviewing for family reunion. Mm. So when I went there, she was like, hello, what's your name? I mentioned my name. Um, where are you going? I said, Germany, Kobok. And she, she was like, can I have your document? I gave her the document she needed because I didn't want to over give. And then now she will come and be probing. So what she thinks she needs when she asks us and I, I give it to her. So she was like, which program are you going to read? I said, MBA financial management. Do you know your courses for the first semester? I said, yes. Mm-hmm. Can you mention them? I mentioned all of them to, to her. And she was like, who is sponsoring you? And I said, my uncle. Um, do you have anything to prove? I said, yes. And I gave her my um, yeah. recommendation letter from him. And then I also gave the bank statement and everything. And she, he asked me again, so is he the one paying for my tuition? And then at the same time, taking care of me? I said, yes. And she said, why? And I said, because she's my un- he's my uncle. He has been taking care of me. <laughs> it was like, okay. <laughs> These were the only questions she asked me. But in the first room, I learned she was asking, what are your long-term plans? Are you coming back? No, she did- no, that lady didn't ask me anything. So she was like, then you are supposed to give me 500 and something. And I said, okay. And I gave her the money. And then, yes, she... she- so my my interview was less than five minutes. Mm, that's nice. And in my in my group in my batch, those I went with, I was the one who had his visa first too, because my visa came less than less than two weeks. Wow. Because that's... I was expecting it in four weeks, but it came <laughs> less than two weeks. I think one week, three days or so. Oh wow, that's yes. really cool. Oh, yes. your process was very 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 nice. Yeah. All right, so coming back to Germany now, from Ghana, now you're in Germany. <laughs> if I've heard your experience, how you made German friends, I guess you already like Germany. But what don't you like about Germany? Bureaucracy. <sighs> Tell me about it. Bureaucracy. <laughs> so many papers, envelopes. You know, and then that um, radio, radio touch thing. Yeah, I bit- so hate it. You don't use radio, but you pay. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and, and then what else? And then, um, bureaucracy, the tax, and then what again? That's all. Yeah. And I think maybe this, um, if you want to go to even the hospital to go and buy, buy, you need to book an appointment, that thing. It's appointment. You guys, if you don't. I mean, Jamie is about Temin. Temin is about. <laughs> I'm sick and I've not. I've still not been to the hospital because. Yeah, you can't just because, walk. To- yeah. Uh, unless you're going for grocery shopping, that you don't need appointment. Uh, <laughs> but as for that thing, is yeah. the bureaucratic way of living in Germany. Yeah. I don't like it. You know, I even forgot to ask you. Yeah, how long have you been in Germany so far? Um, I I got to Germany on the 26th of September. So October, yes, 26th of September. So October, November, December, January, February. I'm now hitting five months. Oh, 
I'm not hitting five months. I'm still a baby. I'm still a baby. So how is the German language coming up? Are you studying? Are you taking any German language from the university or what are you doing? Um, they are giving us four 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 hours weekly, and it, even though it's not that effective, you know, so much of the learning ought to come from you yeah. and then the people around you. But the, um, most often, um, those that I'm surrounded with are speaking English, so it's not really polishing my my yeah. skills like that. <laughs> so I was thinking of maybe um. During the summer vacation, maybe I would try um the the Sprat course mm, yeah. from the from the city center to see maybe that would be your fault. But if I don't do much studies, I think I, I will lag behind because five months and then the level I I hope to to reach, um, I don't think I'm there yet. Yeah, yeah. But it yeah. takes time though. It takes so. time. Time so the language is unlike it's difficult, but it's doable. So. Anyway, yeah. can, you, can you give me your two favorite German words? Uh, uh, two favorite German words. There is this common one they usually say. Don't tell me it's not your favorite. <laughs> uh, I know of. Uh, I don't know. Shall you give I really, I really. What about ach so? Yes, I okay, and that one then bitter. <laughs> it said bitter. <laughs> it said bitter. So ach so and bitter. Yeah, bitter. yeah. Every okay. every little okay. thing you just uh, bitter. Ah uh, okay. Well, the part of Germany I am. They greet. They say moin. I don't know. They say they say that at your side. I don't there, think there so. is there is there is a feedback from there. From the microphone, oh. so I'm not getting. Can I'm not hear hearing you properly. Can you hear me now? No. Me. Is it better? Uh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe you try. I'll brought it forwards. Maybe I'll try and hear you from here. Yeah. Can you hear me? So this this. Um, fluctuating voice in there. Is it better? No, no, no. Oh my God, this is <laughs> the funny thing. I can't even edit this part because <laughs> is it? Try speaking. Let me see. Can you hear me? I, I can hear you, but it's like you've covered something on on a microphone and you're trying to speak. Nah, I'm coming. It's better. But do you hear me clearly? Yeah, I hear you clearly. Really? Yeah, I hear you very well. Okay. Let's manage with it. Okay, so yeah, let's... I was saying about the favorite German words, and you yeah. said... That's fine, that's fine. Anyway, so let's just wrap up, since we're having kind of technical difficulties. We're almost yeah. at the end of the video, so... um. Yeah, so I was going to ask you, would you advise anybody to come to Germany study? Why not? And what do you have what do you have for them? What do you have to tell them? Those who want to come to Germany to study. What do you have to tell them? Don't listen to anybody. Don't what? Them, don't listen to anybody. Watch Phil Dows. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Phil Dows' video. What to ask because you? Because if mm -hmm. you get somebody to help you with a block account, you don't have a problem. I know that is a stumbling block. Yeah. When it. I came here, I remember I met one guy. He called me from Ghana. He says he wanted to come here and study. And I said, okay. He has gotten an admission from the school. I said, nice. Then let me have a look at it. So he sent it to me and I watched. And it was just like one of these one flat schools in Berlin. And I told him that I wouldn't advise him to go there, looking at the amount of money involved. If not, I'll do something for him. So I sent him the DAD link, and then I gave him, like, 20 schools to try on it. Yeah. And then he, he called me just, like, um, one week ago to inform me that he is so much grateful. He has gotten an admission to Degendorf University nice. to go and do tuition free. 
So yeah. I saved him bags of you know some cash. Yeah. And then so he's going to use it to pay his block account and come. So I'm even looking forward to him. So I'm sure maybe by next month he should be here. Okay. It seems I actually forgot to ask you. These my questions are all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. But no um, what's what has been your biggest challenge right um so far learning in a in a general university? Is it difficult compared to what you did compared to in Ghana, like investing in Ghana? I, I am I am I am finding the the transitioning very smooth. You know, in Ghana, chew, chew and poor. <laughs> yeah. But here, it's application. Yeah. Because he will tell you that he doesn't need what he has given you. Just apply the knowledge that you think you have gotten. Mm -hmm. You don't need to write into two. Just give your own um, idea about it. For instance, we, we have this course, Digital Transformation, and then he says that what do you think you see around you in this digital world of ours in terms of banking? Mm -hmm. How has it been made easier than before? This thing, even if he tells you that banking um, uh, technology has erased the brick and mortar way of banking, you don't even have to write the same thing that he has written for you. You as an individual, you are experiencing it, so you know what is going on. So I think in Germany, it's more or less like an application than your lecturer will tell you if you don't provide me what is in my book, I won't pass you. Yes, 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 yes. That's, <laughs> you need to really, really understand what the lecturer is teaching you. It's not they don't, like they don't ask questions like what is explain they, like more of application. So mm -hmm. if, you, if you prepare yourself, psych your mind that you're gonna freaking freaking learn your ass off. I'm not lying to you guys. But yeah, I think one, mm -hmm. one one thing that I so much love, they mm -hmm. tell you that if you think you are not so okay with your own performance in an exams, you can cancel an exams and redo it. Yeah. You are not you're not obliged to maybe um, you have four semesters to fill. So if one semester you think you can only do maybe like um five out of the eight, because the more you go forward, the more the burden also lessens. Yeah. Yeah. So why not spread? It's evenly and then just be okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Anyways, I think we should end the video here. This has been very hey. insightful and I hope you guys learned a lot. Thank you so much, Joshua, Prince, Amu. We really, really appreciate you. Do you have any last words for my people? Yeah. Um, people, what I can say is um, if you haven't subscribed to Ferdowsis YouTube channel, do it because she's doing a good job. Um, I myself, I followed her in Ghana. Um, she, she and then Promzy. So don't forget to subscribe to those two individuals. They are doing a great job. And then I'm saying that time's up. We are also available. If anything, we can also share just to help. At least now I have an experience, so I can also know how to spread the news out there for people to also get to know yeah. what it entails to be in Germany. It's not difficult. You just have yeah. to be determined and focused. That's all. Probably some people might want to ask you questions. If you have Instagram, probably I can leave it. Yes, my Instagram is Sekewayne. S-E-K-E-W-A-Y-N-E. -E -E. Okay. Yeah, that is my Instagram. And then on Facebook, they will see Nana Kwamana Seke. Okay. Yeah, so these are my, my two handles. Right. So if you guys have any questions, you guys can ask him because he is in a not a not a free teaching school. Probably some oh. of you might go there. If you don't get the opportunity to go to a teaching free schools and you have their finance and their funds to go to a, 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 a paid institution, I mean that's also fine. You can ask him all the questions. I think he's in that field, so he'll be the best person to answer you guys. Okay, well, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you, go thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. So I'll see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. <laughs> <laughs>